Hello, welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies and welcome to my beautiful green yard. This is one of those springs where we've been getting lots of rain, which is great because we haven't had one of those for a few years. As you can see, the grass is super green. The dandelions are coming along nicely. And with this rainy weather comes a lot of cool temperatures. So we're having a really cool spring and the nighttime temperatures are still pretty cold. So because of that, I've been really careful as to what I'm going to be planting out and when. And in this video, I'll just go through how you should just be careful in a cold climate like mine here. When you plant out your stuff, you really got to watch those temperatures. So let me show you what I got going on in the garden today. So all of my winter sewing jugs are still intact here. I'll let you see if I can see. We got some calendula coming in here really good. The sweet peas are almost growing through the top. Got some green onion and chamomile, uh, basil and parsley. So everything's coming good except for mint. I'm not sure if it's not gonna come or if it's just super slow, but these will be safe from the cold. They're in the best place ever. They got their little mini greenhouses keeping them warm. And then here are all my bedding plants that still need to go into pots and into the garden. And I'm just going to wait. You can see I've got tons of coleuses that are so beautiful and they're getting so big, but they are one of those plants that are very sensitive to cold. I've already had some of them freeze that I set out in some pots about a week ago, a little bit too early. We had a cold night and they froze and died. So, but my tomatoes are looking super healthy green peppers are doing great so everything's going to be fine i'm just leaving them in here they'll be fine for another week until our nighttime temperatures get better i've left this door open for the last few nights but because we're going to hit that one degrees pretty sure it's going to freeze here in our yard so i'm just going to shut this door for the night and then reopen it in the morning so when the weather was warm a week ago, I started potting up my flowers into my pots here and now I'm having to bring them in at night. So I'm gonna be just putting them in the garage until those nighttime temperatures stabilize and stay warm. This is what I'm gonna to have to do for now. So when I got up this morning, the temperature on my phone said it was only zero degrees. So I knew that we must have got frost and you can see here in the shade on the grass there is a hint of frost still on there so i'm happy that i had put away all my pots and covered everything and saved it from frost so here's where i got my peas planted and my onions planted and they're pretty cool tolerant plants i can see that i have a couple peas starting to pop through but i think they will be fine they can handle a little bit of light frost this was something that i had to cover it's a ground cherry that i started from seed and it already got burnt once by a frost here last week and a couple of these plants are still hanging in there they're looking a little weak but i think they should be okay kept them covered last night so they are fine and these are all my onions that i had planted up they were ones i started from seed so they were not too established into the soil here but i didn't cover them and they seem to be fine like I said, they are pretty cool tolerant and can handle a little bit of frost. So these should be okay. The potatoes, of course, under straw are just fine. They will be okay. They just got planted a week ago. So cool nights are not going to affect them. They should be fine. I got some lettuces started here in my containers that are also haven't sprouted yet. So they should be okay. And my area designated for cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, is still um, unplanted and looking pretty uh, rough right now. I need to do a major cleanup and get these ready. But as I said, it's going to be a good week or so before they need to get planted. So I got some time to work in my garden this week. So I always like to check my weather and look ahead, you know, 14 days just to see what the trend is looking like. As you can see here coming up on this week, we still have two evenings where the nighttime low is only going to be two degrees celsius and then again coming up like five days from now 
on the 24th of May, two degrees at night. So those are pretty cool temperatures. And in my yard, you know, when it hits that two, one degrees, there's a good chance I'm gonna get frost. So just looking at this, I'm going to be holding off on doing any planting of tomatoes, peppers, probably right till the end of May here when we start to see those nighttime temperatures are moving up to some warmer evenings and probably um, our daytime highs are gonna get into the 20s, which is great. So, so even though it's really tempting to get plants out in the garden when you have those beautiful warm sunny days, it's really the nighttime temperatures you gotta keep an eye on and uh, make sure that you're not gonna be planting your plants out in cold weather and end up losing them and having to start over. These are good for? Yeah. They're good for, okay, put some more. We need lots more. Yeah. On my walk. So there's always lots of things to do while we wait for those temperatures to warm up. And today my grandson and I are doing some picking of dandelions. We want to do an oil infusion so we can make some salves. So you really need to be patient when you live in a cold climate like I do. The weather is so unpredictable in the spring and you just have to wait until Mother Nature has set everything right and then it's time to get all your garden planted. So please hit that like button, leave a comment, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.